Sarah Huckabee Sanders was recently kicked out of the Red Hen, which is a restaurant in Virginia, and she puts it on Twitter that she was politely asked to leave with her family there, and I don't really want to talk about the whole political discrimination. Being politically discriminated against is a problem and should be made illegal only because it affects us on the internet. In real life, I don't really care as much, but there should be uh, some type of stipulations that companies like Stripe and PayPal Uber, all these big corporations should not be allowed to discriminate against you politically because once they find out you're a Trump supporter, they can cut you off from the services, which could be vital if you need them. Uh, we've seen that through other companies being cut out, such as Maker Support and Free Starter for crowdsourcing. But in this case specifically, I don't really care, like I said before. And yeah, it does suck that she's being discriminated against and she can't be a normal human being because she works with Donald Trump. Yes, I agree with that. However, though, it's not really much of a loss, and a lot of people are conflating this with the baker, but no, they are two separate things. Forcing a baker to draw a big black dick on a cake is way different than him just selling you a cake. He can sell you a cake that the baker was not discriminating against homosexuals. Instead, what he was doing was saying, no, I don't want to draw gay stuff on the cake. I mean, it's that simple. He could sell you a regular cake if you're gay, but no, he will not make you a gay cake specifically. And so that's the key difference there. And in this case, being denied service for your political beliefs is just the same as being denied uh, just because you're black. It's like something that you are. It has nothing to do with you being offensive or wanting special treatment like the gay couple in the wedding cake. So let me just read some of these comments because they're great. They actually are pretty funny and, the, and maybe they'll make your day better. Womp Womp, was your daddy mean to you? Did the bullies pick on you in high school? If you want to eat in a gun-free safe space surrounded by other pussy wit beta male cucks and their dom moms, this is the place for you. Or leave the old ball and chain at home with Jamal and come alone. We're very pro-choice here at the Red Hen. Heard they don't serve people there they politically disagree with. Sad. Was going to bring our 8th grade crew there for dinner. Maybe we will, but we just protest outside or use their bathrooms. We always gotta save the edgiest of edgy for the end, and this is the final one here I'm gonna read. It says, quote, Eek, me thinks not. I am a Medal of Honor recipient in Fortnite, and Fortnite's a video game for those of you who don't know, and while I was dining at the restaurant, the owner came over to our table and started screaming at my wife's son and I, saying, I am onto you, Nazi. I wasn't sure what she was talking about, so I took my trench coat off and asked her to explain why we had to leave. She started going off on me about my Make America Great Again hat and how I was responsible for the death of over 6 million people. I picked my wife's son up and left, but when I left, there was a crowd of people in all black with red bandanas standing around my car. They surrounded us and said, we are the anti-fascists. This car belongs to us now. I can't believe how I was treated at this place. I'm a Swedish immigrant who was forced to come here after my home in Malmo was involuntarily donated to the needy. Today was the one day a month my wife's boyfriend allows me to go out with my wife's son, and it was ruined. So, there you have it. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys do write a comment on the Yelp page. I do have a link in the description, and also I will pin it on top of the comment section, so it should be easy for you guys to find there. And so if you do leave a comment, please copy and paste it into the comment section so I can read what you wrote. I'd greatly appreciate it. I don't want to scroll through all the MAGA idiots being offended. And I don't really want to scroll through all the liberals that are praising it. It's too much garbage. I, I've already got cancer going through it once. I don't want to do it again. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. As I always say, shout out to the Wolfpack on Maker Support. I'm only currently taking donations to PayPal. I would greatly appreciate it if you do so. If you do so, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. So get going, get busy, write the Yelp review, make it funny and witty, because I need a good laugh. Uh -huh.